Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Looking forward to chatting with this dude i came across his channel not too long ago and i encourage everybody to check it out he's on youtube at chola one this dude spent 23 years in a gang and he's here to share his story with us i encourage everybody out there like i said to check out his youtube channel chola one ladies and gentlemen my man chola one what up dog what up dusty man and i just want to say first off before we start this one thing thank you for having me man I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the the good content you're putting out there too, homeboy. And I definitely would love to know, um, shit. What, what made you start your channel, homie? Well, look, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, um, due to the fact, you know that that I'm still a parolee and whatnot. You know, I'm still like tied up and all that legal stuff. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna put myself out there like that because I, I was thinking to myself, like, you know what? If I start making little, um. YouTube channels, whatnot, and it goes up, the cops are going to be on me. But at the end of the day, after uh, contemplating on it, meditating on it, I said, you know what? It's for the better of the people because what I'm doing is I'm educating my people. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just sharing my experience in hopes that uh, some people will look at it and be like, damn, you know what? I was thinking of doing it, but never mind. Wow, this guy went you know? That's what's up because that's literally why I do my show now. I do this. Uh, I interview the OGs. I interview the people who have been through it. And my hope is that there's a young kid out there, maybe 14, 15 or whatever, who has his tiptoe in the street. He's thinking about, you know, maybe maybe joining a gang or, you know, kicking it with the wrong crowd. And he listens to one of my shows. He listens to listens to somebody like a like a Cholo Juan. And he's like, nah, I'm good, man. I'm going to go to school. I'm going to do something else. And, you know, most of the time, like, um, I call him misguiding, you know, I call him misguiding. I was just talking to one of my homeboys the other day on a, on a different interview, and uh, we were talking about growing up in the city, it's kind of hectic, and and you think it's the right thing to do is to go out there and start gangbanging, doing crimes, getting into crazy stuff, because that's all you see, and it's fun. So that's where, that's where you misguide yourself. It's so fun that you think is the norm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So uh, let, let's take it back, man. Um, So you grew up in Oxnard, right? Oxnard, California, baby. 805. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, um, tell everyone what the name of your neighborhood is. My neighborhood is a subsection of Oxnard called El Rio. El Rio. Okay. And just knowing um, from watching a couple of your videos, I know... Um, you started tiptoeing in, in the gang life, you know, flirting with it, as you say, um, like in fifth grade, right? Is that safe to say? Yeah, you know, I started in fifth grade, you know, all the homies <laughs> were out, you know, they'll be playing basketball. They were like, there was, there was nothing but gang members all around me. So I didn't really have like anything else to see, you know what I mean? But um, like fifth grade, sixth grade, uh. Then I stopped for like about a year, you know what I mean? I said, you know what, maybe this is not for me. Maybe this is really crazy, you know? Because you, uh, um, you moved to a rival hood, right? Your pops bought a house somewhere. Well, we, moved, we moved to a rival hood, and that kind of um, triggered a bunch of uh, uh, it, it was like a whole different lifestyle because I'm no longer in a, in a hood where even though there's a lot of gang members, it's a gang-infested area, I feel safe. You know, now I'm in a place where I step out the house and I don't know what's going to happen. Even though I'm a little kid, like some people just don't care, you know? Yeah. And and you were going hard up until you made that move. And then when you made that move, it sounds like you decided to start forming a whole little crew. And, and, and how'd, how'd that go? Well, you know, um, I remember... Uh, I was probably like 13 years old, you know, I stopped for like about a year. And then um, I had a bunch of friends, like uh, people were just tired of this gang. They were like, there still are the biggest gang in my in my whole county, you know. So they had all the streets on lock. And, you know, when, when, when a gang is big, they're going to create a lot of animosity with the community. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. gangs are gangs and gangs are going to do bad stuff to the community. So a lot of people just, 
Bob Top didn't like him, and a lot of people just the first fight I had with him to where I let it be known that I wasn't gonna put up with him. Um, a lot of people just started backing me up, and uh, some of the homeboys that didn't even grow up in my hood, they wanted to claim my hood because of me, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, shit. Let's talk a little bit about Oxnard for people out there um, who don't know much about it. North of LA. Um, and from what I understand is you guys don't really rep colors. You know, the gangs out there don't rep colors. You guys, you know, rep your sports logos. And your particular hood is uh, Rock's Raider gear, right? Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, right here in Oxnard, bro, like, uh, it's a beautiful city, bro. I'm not even trying to make it sound all bad because it's not. You know, it's, it's real beautiful. We got the beach. But it, it also has a, a lot of neighborhoods that are Mexican. Well, the whole city is Mexican, you know, like, predominantly Mexican. There's a little bit of blacks, a little bit of white, whatnot. But it's a beautiful city overall. However, it does have its parts where, I mean, it's just a little ghetto, you know? She said she want to see the city bus She don't want to ride the city bus Because she's new to the town I advise, look for truth The ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud Dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out it's the truth i already know yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blames instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor, girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to, baby? That's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about, baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go. Put your seatbelt on, up and away, we about to go. About to the road go. is gonna get windy, promise not to lose control. Yeah. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. And so, so, so. many MCs inspired to be yeah. one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Yeah. Then the law came life, now your dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders contemplating the worst. Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. Paying dues upon dues Keep on telling yourself I'm making others believe in you too When it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah